Business is hard. We all have problems. This is my biggest problem this week. All right, guys, before we get into it, you know the drill. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications of new videos as soon as they drop. So this is it, my biggest problem this week. My biggest problem has been delegation, and this has been huge for me because time after time after time, I've tried to get better at delegating, and I have bumped into a wall and failed, bumped into a wall and failed, hired the wrong person, failed, been the wrong employer, failed, you know, and that's that's the course of this. And even for someone who has a small team and who is who is kind of getting going and, and figuring out what's going to work for them, there's going to be a lot of failures in this because you just didn't walk in and know how to hand over exactly what you know to everyone else and make it all work just like like that. That's just not how it works. You try to get the little sunlight a little bit better. I'm out in the backyard. A ton of demolitions been going on back here. Um, you didn't just walk in and it all just magically, you just know how. So this being the problem, what it really is to me is I have so many different little things going on and I'm just wheeling the steering wheel on all of them. For one, because I like control and two, because I want it done in a timely manner that is the way that I think our business should operate. And there's been times where I fail because I want it changed just because that's not the way I would do it. And that's been wrong because if you get an acceptable outcome, customers are happy, everybody made money, everyone's happy, even if it's not the actual way you would have done it yourself, that doesn't make it wrong. And then there's the flip side of this is, you know, this isn't really the biggest hire right now, or biggest hire, biggest problem right now, but the other side's been just hires in general. You know, you always want people to to be able to do something and and put them in a certain situation and give them this responsibility and and then it doesn't work out for whatever reason you know you you've um, not trained people well enough you've gave them too much responsibility too soon you've done so many things and uh, it really showed this week that you know I'm just doing a million different little things and just our office for example has been the best thing the best example of what I'm talking about is I need to be able to delegate to them. I need to not have to look over their shoulder all the time and, and check on these things. So, you know, from from how to communicate with customers to how to produce a, a certain estimate to how to how to do all these little things that I'm wanting to delegate, people need to know their roles and just do them. You know, people need to be able to hold themselves accountable and I need to also be able to train pay, people correctly. And what this has led to is we had an office meeting where we went over everyone's roles, what they're expected to do, and what they're getting held to do. And we have made the roles. I made everybody's role sheet for them. And I'm going to start holding people accountable to this. We're going to start having a little bit of reports off of this so it's easier to track our, our people doing what they're accountable for, what they're supposed to be doing. So I'm not always, I'm a horrible leader in, I expect you to just know because I've told you a couple times that that's your responsibility or just because I've told you once it's your responsibility I expect you to just magically know that and be able to take that on even if it's 30 things all at once and that's where I've failed and I'm going to get better about that so that's that's really some of the points out of this and and some of the other things to take out of this is that even when you've got a small team delegation can still be I mean it can be such a huge thing You know, when we were about to do a quarter million in sales, we hired our first person in the office, and it was a game-changing event, you know. And in one person, it's easy to control, and as it becomes two and three and four, it becomes harder and harder and harder to control, and that's always the experience. And the thing, the biggest nugget to take out of this is no one, you're never going to be perfect. You're never going to get it right. The, The biggest thing about business is, you know, the people that do well in life are the people that can accept that failure is a, is a part of everything. You know, you don't just do stuff and get it right. You don't just, it doesn't just happen. Owning a business is, is uh, taking on failure after failure and still 
going through them with a smile on your face. You know, uh, Elon Musk owning a business is like eating shards of glass every day for breakfast kind of thing. Um, it's really about how resilient you can be in, in the face of all that adversity, in the face of all that failure, and knowing that's the one biggest part as a business owner that I know and that we should all know, and a lot of people hate to say it, that usually, almost always, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's not your employee's fault that they're failing in your eyes or that they're not doing your delegation, what you're trying to delegate correctly. It's you. You haven't trained them correctly. You haven't given them the right material. You've expected too much too quick. You've wanted to push too hard too fast. You've you've miscommunicated just in general because your communication is so fast and, and hard at it. I mean, that's I just explained me and a lot of my problems. You know, I'm just a, I'm a runner. I'm a runner. I'm a type A personality. I, I just go, 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 and I expect people to be able to pick up the pieces as we roll. And not everyone's built for that. Everyone's a different type of person. So the biggest things out of this are delegation is key as you grow your business, and you're going to need to be able to delegate. Knowing who to delegate what to is probably going to be your hardest challenge ever because you're gonna do what I do. You're gonna try, 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 fail. You're gonna put your whole heart into a bunch of different people, fail, get burnt, and and it's it's a part of the game. You know, you see all these people that become like really good at something, really good at business, really good at this, really good at that, and are really good in a sport. You know, I used to watch dirt bikes growing up, and there's like Ricky Carmichael and Bubba Stewart. You know, I was a motocross racer. They were the baddest of bad, you know, they sacrificed a lot to do that. They rode when they didn't want to. They did things they didn't want to have to do because that's that's what it's about. You know, I'm trying to relate this all back to business and what this delegation process is going to be like because it's even that down to your employees in the field that's still delegating out a task is, you know, they had to get up and do like grown-ups do. They get up every day and a lot of the stuff that they have to do is maybe things that they don't want to do. Because that's the task and that's what gets them to greatness. And that's that's what pushing through this delegation wall and pushing through getting people in the right roles and in the right places is going to feel like. You're going to feel like you failed a lot. You're going to feel like you you haven't done it right a lot. You're going to feel like you're going to feel like it's the people's fault a lot. That's that's the wrong thing to feel like. It's usually yours. And if it wasn't if it was actually their fault because they did something, it was still your fault you hired them. So I hope this has shed some light. It's been some sporadic thoughts on, on delegation and how big of a deal it's going to be to your business. It's going to be the difference between being able to really expand and not expand at all. I'm still working on it, getting better every day at it. I'm still trying to delegate better and be a better communicator every day. And it's still something I struggle with. It's hard. It's probably going to be one of your biggest challenges. So if anybody has any comments on how they delegate, what they've done to make delegation easier, um, it doesn't matter if it's a small business or a big business. It's It just starts becoming multiples. You know, it's, it's tiny and then it multiplies and multiplies. So delegation applies in everything. It doesn't matter if it's you with one guy doing the work, you're still delegating, you know, to with one other guy helping you do work. So share in the comments below how you delegate, how the little tricks that you've had. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you, some of the things I've said I've failed at. Hopefully it's made you feel better about failure is a part of the process. Being wrong is a part of the process. Don't ever quit because being great is the only thing that pays and quitters never become great. Guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you soon.